Hello, hello. Where am I? I've got a coffee. I've gone, I'm playing Astrogoth. I'm Ashen Ninja. It's all coming together. Hmm. You know, sort of. Uh, let's see. So we're going to fight this battle. Hopefully it'll go well. Um, oh, that's that's actually not too bad. So we've got like a a way to kind of funnel them a bit. They will try and flank me all the same, I reckon. But you know, that'll happen. I get flanked. I get crushed. I get killed. It's a normal day. I probably should have checked to see where their reinforcements are coming in. They're gonna have a lot of them. So. Ah, uh, yes. So we'll see how that goes. As long as this, you know, loads. It's a lot of undead I've got. Okay, so essentially a flanking force, which is there, is going to arrive. So there, yeah, a minute 48 for essentially a flanking force to arrive at me. Hard to say how that will actually play out at this stage, but... Let's uh, get our uh, army together. Now they've got their mortis engines right here dead centre. So that's where we're going to set up. So I kind of want to set this up slightly differently now that I'm looking at it. Let's move you over this way and you over here. I'll redo this. Just because what that'll do is it gives us our longer range over here to fire at that as it approaches. There's probably cavalry like Blood Knights just there. Yep. Uh, so we're going to throw these guys just here to protect our flank. Our artillery will sit about here. Uh, so I just think this is kind of going to help us hold this way a little bit. Yeah, so these kind of, they've still got overlapping fields of fire. That stuff will come from there. I'm going to put one of these guys over here as well. You're going to go here. It's going to go here. You are flying as well. That's cool. All right. Let's see how battle plan number one goes. He's over there. That's good. Uh, want... I really don't need him, neither the death source for heading forward. That's not so good. Skeleton Warriors, Roderick Von, whatever his name is. Spearman, Canwraiths, Warriors, Zombies, Graveguard. I want at least one of you firing at Graveguard. Oh, I see. They've both decided to target. Uh, uh, for some reason. Well, let's uh, see if we can do a bit of damage here. It's a big bulk. Uh, we'll get Spirit Leech on him. Where's my, where's my shots? Come on. We would hit on some grave guard just there. Let's plop that in there again. Just to see if we can get it killing some more stuff this time around. Uh, you don't really need to be firing at that, I don't think. It's, it's interesting because they're trying to move their forces around a lot. And that's probably not really going to work well that well for them. Honestly. Because, you know, they're relatively slow. Uh, 
Let's stop them for now. Need to let our magic replenish a little. No, really, they're not really achieving a lot. I mean, he's just, you know, throwing off some uh, some shots and stuff. Not really achieving a great deal from it. They're just zombies, zombies, zombies. There's so much stuff that's just, like, pretty garbage. There were some hex wraiths. They actually probably need to face more about this way. There'll probably be some stuff come up there. Oh, there's a... What are you? You're a terror geist, so we'll... Spirit leech you a bit. See, if we can get shots into things like the, some of the mortis engines, that won't be so bad. They will be a dangerous unit. I'll get that firing at that now. Okay, we're going to have to change the orientation here a bit. So that we can get them so that they'll fire at the Mortis engine. No? Mortis engine wants to stay hidden a bit. what we should actually do is pull him forward a little while their forces are still back there. See if we can uh, shoot him down a bit. Oh, their Lord is coming in as well. Let's move him to a position to shoot. Got that one. No, that damages himself. Let's not do that. Pull them back out of there. That's good. Fire him, please. That's it. You get the Lord. You guys go back to that. Alright, that's a Lord down. That's good. That's very good. This will be a Mortis engine down as well. Uh, we will reform that a bit. Reform you a bit. Turn off auto shooting on there. Uh, let's get you to move around this way a bit, please. Turn your auto shooting off. Uh, let's see. Cool. Opens up on the mortis engine. Another round, come on. Should be all you need, just one more round of it. There we go, both mortis engines down now. That's good. Might as well get some shooting in on the zombies. So I've got a pile coming in over there. Ah, can wraiths. You're going to fire at them. You're going to start shooting with can wraiths. Come on. Both of you get in there, please. Just keep firing that direction. Actually, you get over here as well. Yep, he's pushed them back nicely. That's good. 
See if we can take him out before these Black Knights get here. Black Knights will do a lot of damage to us. How are we doing up here? Corn Ghouls are... Whoa, what are you... Sh why are you doing that? Told you guys not to fire at will. Not to. Fucking hell. Alright, we're going to need some help here. So, let's get a summon down. Ooh, they've gotten just fucking wrecked there. We're going to need to get you down into combat, please. You as well over here. Doing well over there. Let's get you across into these Crypt Ghouls, thanks. How are we doing? They are getting wrecked by the Blood Knights. We're going to need some, re some sort of reinforcing over here soon enough. So, let's pop that down there. Uh, how are they doing? to do some healing on that, please. And go help them out. Uh, can't really use my artillery anywhere just yet. Oh, those black knights there. Let's see if we can change some of the fortunes of some of these combats that are going on. please okay that's good we're shaving them off we're shaving them off now they're not doing quite as well over here but those blood knights are starting to go down where has their lord gone now the lord's gone there oh he's now shattering that's good that's those troops going down that's uh everything just crunching Lovely. Did take a bit of damage, especially on a couple of units. Three hundred and fifty-five losses. Not so good. Yeah, those blood knights did a fair bit. He didn't really do anything. He got himself killed. They did okay. Seventy-five to those can race. They're pretty nasty things. 55 for them. Terror guys just got shot down. 208 for him. That's good. 51 for him. He did all right. Did all right. They did okay. Just sort of trying to hold stuff up with them. They did the bulk of the work there. But yeah, all of those, those three armies gone. Or those two armies and the garrison gone, though. So that is good. Very good. No units lost. And we will just occupy that as outpost. So they thought they could uh, thwart our attempts. To thwart them. But they were wrong. Uh, we will have to repair the Great Hall of Greasis. That's still in what? Far too much danger. Um, Grimtop. Do that and we'll upgrade you. That went quite well though. 
happy with that. So this Luzka backbreaker. He really is a backbreaker, isn't he? He's fucking wrecking shit. Level 49. Uh, well, I don't know. What, what do I put points in now? Uh, could be his leadership or is nice. No point putting more points in leadership on him. Uh, so I've given him that one for his melee troops. I've given him that one. Yeah, uh, most of this other stuff's pretty useless for him to have. Let's just give him that one. Ambush defense chance and and that. Oh, a second point. Oh shit. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, uh, it's bad when you just don't know what to spend the points on. You know, let's make his uh just his normal chaos warriors a bit better. We'll spend the last points there. Uh yeah, this guy's just getting his training up, which is an extremely useless talent point, but whatever. Whatever. Training's a bit shit. Uh, really don't need Bandolier. We've already, he's already got 56 ammo. Uh, we'll give him all terrain vehicle. Nope, still another point. Scouting it is. One else but getting levels here. Oh yeah, a couple more levels here and there. You've made level 27. 26. He's level 20. And you're a fire sorcerer and you're not in an army at the moment. So we will give you well, less miscast chance, I guess. Cool. Now, I believe this was actually the start of this turn as well. Uh, let's have a look. Conclave dominant. So, uh, more conclave, more winds of magic. Or masterful architects. In addition of that. Oh, yeah, additional control. What are we at here? Oh, we might as well go for Beasts of Tsar. That's the last one here. And that will make. Beasts a bit better because I got one army with a few. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's had his replenishment fucking stifled now. Uh, let's see. Really like us to hit Crookback Mountain now. Oh, he's getting close though. I need to do something with him. No, but you can't make it. So, let's try block that just to get him his point. No. I'm going to send Drazoth in here. See if their army will actually run away. I doubt it will, and it's fine if it doesn't. What have we got? Close victory. You know what? Let's just blat that out of the way. Yep. Take that. Thank you, because that will give us Crookback Mountain back. Jump in here. We will sack it. So who doesn't like a good sacking occasionally? Now we'll occupy it. We can pop it up to full tilt. Straight away. Let's get rid of that. Let's see. We definitely want that one. Uh, we're going to want walls, that, we're going to want that, I'm also going to want that, and let's go for that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Beautiful. Uh, Zatan the Black, he calls himself Zatan the Drudge for reasons. We'll upgrade all of these various things just here. And we will head him out this direction because they've got an army down here. So we'll move him over to Zizu. There we can upgrade some stuff as well. And uh, do that. Uh, he is still in need of replenishment. 
As is he. What do we have army-wise, though? Not really a lot. Okay, yeah. Cool. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll stealth our way over. To here. So we'll still replenish over the intern. He will hang there. Uh, now that I've done that, let's see what we've got down here. Yeah. Uh, you. That's fine. You don't have a thing. Nope. That's good. So let's see if we can do this assassination. 51%. Beautiful. Got him out of the way. I like that. Good, good, good. I did pick up a shitload of slaves, so I got some. I got a fair few I can spend. What we got here? Level fifty. Whoa. Uh, level fifty. Jeez. Is he at level twenty-seven? Oh, uh, level twenty-seven really gives him a lot of what he needs. Give him a headdress of the Tsar. Level 28, he's got all of that, so... Ah, uh, yeah, level 13, good job for him. Let's go with that. What other heroes? Can we do something with... Uh, let's see if we can get rid of this opposing hero. Beautiful. Every now and then it comes and goes well for me. Normally they're the ones that are just fucking executing my fucking heroes. Like they're nothing. Like they're just bitch asses. Fuck. Uh, we're going to want to move him next turn. Because with him coming, he's going to be aiming for Silver Spear. We also have him coming. And he could be aiming for either... Either one, really. I'm going to keep the generated army for mo the moment as well. Uh, so we'll stick this guy over here to keep an eye on him. Who knows what will happen. Oh, right, that's fine. Our hero over here, he doesn't have anything. That guy's not dangerous to us, so let's just see if we can... Not damage walls. I go for the him. Yeah. There we go. Lovely. Alright, so last time it was uh, me losing all the heroes, so it's kind of nice that that table has been turned. Uh, command wise, we've got that in our control now. That's good. Uh, what happens if we. He's expensive outside of friendly territory. I don't know, let's just upgrade it. Doesn't really make too much of a difference to me. I don't I don't actually really care. Um let's see. That's a war coordination thing, isn't that? Press a war coordination button. Ooh yeah. There you go. How are they going? Yep. Ally missions, they want me to defeat his armies. And his armies, his armies, yeah. Not gonna worry too much about that. Let's not worry about that. Okay. And we should see what we can build. That's a good idea as well, isn't it? That in. Uh, yep, we'll upgrade that. Uh, no, I worry about that one. That's doing its thing already. Increase that. Plop that in. Where's that? Oh, yep, that's that one over there. Okay, no, that's cool. Oh, I don't know. I forgot where that one was. Just keep cruising through. Yeah, they're all good. That's fine. Yeah, this one was cool. Why 
every road. Uh, mm. Put that back up. Uh, Save amounts fine. Let's have a look at our economy. So we need to do a bit of these ones. Get some of the old uh, slave labour out of here. So that we can make, make ourselves happier. Now, that is actually where I'm going to leave this episode. Only one turn. Fucking hell. Certainly slows down when you've got so many battles to fight. So, we've still got a lot of battles to fight. We've got to try and hold Silver Spear now, which is going to be difficult, but we'll try. And uh, see how we go. We are expanding at an okay rate. We're now getting 10,000 raw materials a turn. 1,500 um, of these things. Um, it's 227 Conclave Influence turn. That's pretty good. Mm. I have a few of my enemies on the ropes here. But yeah, we'll have to see. Because I think once I actually take out Karak, Raziak and Ungor, I'm going to end up at war here. and They might be hard to hold. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for now. I've been Ash Ninja. This has been uh, Strogoth. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you have a good one. See you later.